I think something bad's happened. I'm glad you're back safely, but I can tell you went into the bliss. I tried to warn you. I hope whatever you got from Joseph was worth it. But we have a new problem. It's Rush. He's gone. I, I, I don't know where he is. He said he was going out to do some recon, but he never came back. I've got a bad feeling about this. Please, go search the county for him. I'll watch over the people here. Be careful. You and Rush kept making too many problems for us, so finally we had to take things into our own hands. Now it's our turn to make problems for you. Your people here counting on you. We're gonna show them just how much of a curse you really are. Door on the clock. Look at him, Rabbit. That door's not gonna open itself. Good for us here. 
familiar like we've been down this road before oh. relax stay a while <laughs> oh, look at that see how easy you can be to get along with I wanted you to understand that I wanted you to see that Things could have ended differently if you just listened to us and went away. Instead, you chose the stick. Here it is. Oh, fuck! I spend all night wiping those hopes and dreams off my boots. Oh, <laughs> uh, you know, before you showed up, everything was fucking great. You came with your fancy train and 
and your fancy people trying to make this place into something that is never good. And when we tried to be reasonable, you thought it'd be a good idea to stir up the pot. Over and over and over. All because you thought there was a hope for your future? There's no hope for you. No future for any of you. Michelle, Louise, I need you to listen to me. Why? You're not coming with us. I don't have a choice. Your father... Daddy says if you're not with us, you're against us. It's not that simple. Yes, it is. <laughs> Gotta go, Mom. Dad's here. Michelle, you two need to take care of each other because your dad he won't he has a lot of big plans but everything he does ends in violence dad solves problems he creates them he leaves a trail of bodies behind him he doesn't care who gets hurt don't end up like him promise me you won't be like him All right? I fucking hawked out like that? Everything was normal until they went up north. Maybe it's time we asked them freak some questions. Sorry. I'm sorry I got on that train. I'm sorry I brought you to Hope County. We'll always remember you. You took a risk for us, and it cost you your life. This is all my fault. Rush, I promise we'll make you proud. He was a good man. Selfless. But you, you, you did everything you could. Oh, those fucking twins are always a step ahead. We need another angle. I'm gonna go check on Carmina. When you want to hear what I have in mind, come talk to me. About a minute. Hello. 
sir. Saw you fight. We're all shaken up by the loss of Rush, but we can't let up. As much as I hated the idea of talking to Joseph, I have to admit that having New Eden attack the Highwaymen has given us a chance to blindside them. I was talking to the scouts. It seems that out by the old orchards, there's a place the Highwaymen bet on fights. The promoter out there claims to be close to the twins. Who knows if it's true, but it's worth checking out. Come and go with Hey, Slick. Uh-huh. You got a chip on your shoulder the size of Texas, I can tell. I think we got some twins in common, right? They teamed up with me a while back, you know. I'm like their right-hand man, pretty much. We got this thing where we owe each other every now and then. You know, it's friendly. It's like a give-and-take type deal. So the thing is, I owe them this time around. Uh-oh. And I'm in a little, uh, financial, uh, trouble. Now, all I need is a sure thing, and boom, hey, no problem. Now, here's a skinny. There's some fighters in this arena, and I need somebody who can give them a run for their money. But first, I need to know you could throw a punch, really hey, make the shit out of somebody, you know? So take a swing at this machine here to measure what you got. Now, I broke it when I gave it a shot. Let's see if you got half as much. That's a fucking punch. Hate to be on the bad end of you. Let's put it to use. Stash your weapons. Obviously, we can't take them where we're headed. And uh, follow me. Come on, it ain't far. It used to be a fight of myself. I wasn't that bad back in the day. I went on a little winning streak. Knocked out 17 guys in a row. Huh? Seven fucking team. Had to quit. <clears throat> Too lethal. Punched the last guy so hard, he farted his brains out. Seriously. Guys, seriously. <clears throat> his brains. And that made me pull up short. I had to think to myself, I got a gift, but I can't control it. Okay, here we are. Head on in, and my associate will help you get processed. Make nice. Uh, don't look him in the eye. After you're done, I'll open the door for you and meet you back at the weapons cache. Well, go get him, chump. Uh, uh, champ. You. Yeah, I'm here for you. I know what's this getting you out here. The first rule of fighting is you gotta huh? tell everyone you know. Follow me. Get the word out, get exposure, all that. I'm itching to swing this bat. I've been craving that teeth-breaking crunch. Gotta go right to the face every time. They never see it coming. Had that rose for dog in four These scabs all weird. Hey, you need a fighting name before you go in there, so we know who to bet against. That lollipop! Clearly a lollipop! Ooh, yeah, it's all over the face! <laughs> all right, squirt. Lollipop it is. Get into the ring, lollipop.
goddamn in fucking credible. You think you're clever, huh? You think you're hot shit? Because that's exactly what you were back there. You fought great. I think you're the kind of asshead I could work with. The asset. I, I mean asset. Shit we could get up to together. Oh, great things. Great things. I know you got shit to shovel with Mickey and Lou. I can get you close to them. And then you could take care of business. I'll figure it out. Don't worry, Slick. I'm gonna make this happen for you. I gotta put on my thinking cap. Need some space to figure this out, so you run along. Can't think with you nose breathing over my shoulder. I'll be in touch. I'm my own man now, standing on my own two feet. I'll show you. Come on, I got something. Thanks to you for getting me the fuel. Now you, me, la grosse patate, we're gonna get back to doing what we do best. Pissing off highwaymen and stealing their resources. So listen to this. The highwaymen found a crashed aircraft carrier and are using it to hide supplies. They thought they could keep that a secret, huh? <laughs> no, not from Roger. Whatever they found has to be good for us, too. So what do you say we pay them a visit? Maybe take a stroll on the beach after we rip them off? <laughs> no, just a joke. The, the highwaymen would be pissed off and we need to get the fuck out of there quick. So, ça tente-tu? La mouche capote.
right? Last chance to check your gear. Now go kick some ass, and when you grab the package, I come pick you up. See you later. Be careful, the package has a GPS tracker. Where it goes, the highwaymen follow. Bonne chance. until we find that killer scab! Good place for me to land. Go to the 
That's it, back for more, huh? I like you. Cool, toi. Oh, we got those fuckers. <laughs> oh, c'est cab. Okay, back to normal. One thing about the highwaymen. Once they're exposed, they always come back stronger. I've seen it. So, if you ever want to rob a stronghold again, we can. But they'll do everything in their power to make it harder for us. Or there's a new stronghold we can go to. Check ça. Highwaymen are controlling the only bridge that's still standing over the canyons to the southwest. They wait for people to cross the bridge and then BAM! They do an ambush and take all the stuff. In French, we call that se faire fourrer. 
Yeah, real greaseball shit. So you wanna know the plan? <laughs> There's no fucking plan, okay? We take from them like they take from the others, and that's it. Merci, bonsoir, Asti. So you tell me, we go back to the warship, or you, me, la grosse patate, we go to Navajo Bridge? Laquelle tu veux? I'll tell you where to meet. No way. Go get them, Tiger. Be careful. The package has a GPS tracker. Where it goes, the highwaymen follow. My chance.
got the package. We need to leave in a hurry. The highwaymen are going to keep attacking you no matter what. I'm doing my best. You want the twins, right? You want to get close enough to count the nose hairs? Well, I got a way to do that. Now, normally, I just walk you up and introduce you to the twins straight off. But I'm on the outs with them right now. Told them they were fucking up and they got all huffy. It's a whole thing. That's not important. What's important is that now, the twins are all over this guy Frank. Like he's their best friend or something. They even made him the fucking warden of the prison. You believe that? Well, they know me and him don't get along. He's such a dick. 
What it is is, Lou has a thing for me. And she wants to make me jealous, okay? But why else would they even talk to that asshole? So the number one part of the plan is, you gotta kill Frank. And here's how we do it. He's the prison warden, right? So I take you to the prison as a prisoner. That gets you close to Frank, and you just fucking take him out. Take that motherfucker out. And I'll explain the rest of the plan on the way. Trust me, it's surefire. Just stash your gear here. The prisoners don't got weapons. Then jump in the truck, and I'll drive you in. What do you know? Orange is your color. Hop in the back. Let's go. So you're wondering how killing Frank gets you close to the twins, right? Uh, the demolition derby's coming up. The winner of the derby gets invited to the fancy-ass dinner with all the highwaymen bigwigs. Win the derby, and you got an express ticket to the twins' personal space. The problem is, the derby's got all the drivers they need. We gotta open up a spot in the lineup. Well, guess what? Frank's all set to drive in the derby. That's right. You see the genius of the plan? You take Frank out, and boom! Suddenly, the derby's a driver short. So happens, I know a guy who's tight with a gal. Anyway, I can get you that spot on the derby. But first, Frank's gotta go. I guess without any weapons, you'll have to improvise a way to kill that motherfucker. I'll let you work out the details. <laughs> Imagine that, little fucker in his garbage truck. Hope you got something good to truck fed there, little fucker. Hope it's worth our fucking while. The hell you want, little fucker? Hey, nice to see you too, jeez. I got a prisoner with me, what do you think? Mm. It's your ass in the weeds if they're a problem. Bring him in. Don't balls it up in there, okay, Slick? Don't die! Tongues, where those came from. Not 
Yo, Shits gave the rabbit something, and I want to know what it is. I'm with you on that, but they can't tell you anything unless you ask more questions. Let me handle this. I know what I'm doing. Hate to barge in. We're busy! But, yeah, I know, but somebody who looks important wants to talk. How important? I'm gonna want to hear this. This is on the control. I'll handle this one. <laughs> What are you still doing here? This is a perfect smoke. I know how to get out of here. I know which one has the key back inside. They took my shiv to the restricted zone. I could try and get it, take him out. My goddamn legs would stop shaking if I had the guts.
like a ghost in the night up here. I knew you were the one for the job. Just popped in there like a fart on the breeze and got everything we need. Now it remains to be fucking seen if you can drive worth a damn. You're a pro fucking professional. I cannot overstate how much I wanted Frank to die. Thank you. Can't believe that idiot thought he could drive in the derby. I could drive in the derby. I could run the derby. I know more about cars than any of them. I once built a car out of nothing but a kitchen sink. That spot in the derby is yours now. And that's gonna get you up close and personal with Mickey and Lou. All I gotta do is finagle you a halfway decent set of wheels and you're good to go. Look, we don't want to be seen hanging around together, so you gotta move on out of here. Now don't worry, I'll be in touch real soon.
really imagine starting a fence. I keep trying to think. Slick, we're set for the derby. I'm waiting for you at some kind of old gas station. <laughs> About time. I'm a fucking genius. Every year the winner of the demolition derby gets to go to the big ass dinner party. With Frank gone, his spot in the race is yours. And you're in luck, cause I got you a great car to drive. You're lucky so and so. Now all you gotta do is win this fucking thing. Because Mickey and Lou are gonna be at that dinner. That's when you get them. I'll run and grab the car and see you here tonight, Slick. Here's your car. I fixed it up myself. Filled it to the brim with top shelf ethanol. Tires full of air in the whole nine yards. All right, Slick. No one knows you from any other asshole while you're in that driver's getup. I'll be in your ear the whole time, so if you fuck up, or you're in over your head, you'll be able to hear me laugh. But you're gonna do great.
yourself a ticket to the party. But go past the bodyguards, make like you belong there. The joint will be full of highwaymen bigwigs. They're all giant dicks. But be careful, they're fucking dangerous. The plan is, you gun everybody down. Everybody. We'll make them all pay for dissing me. That was incredible. Best win I ever saw. Oh, this is amazing. All right, all right, we're gonna get them all in one swoop. Oh, uh, look, don't do anything stupid. Okay, I'm gonna shut the fuck up now. I'm gonna give you the go when the gun's in place. I know you. Derby winner. <laughs> Man, you put on a show. It fucking ain't, dude. Killed it. God damn. You know, it reminds me a little of myself. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you all for being here. Come a long way for some of you. Fun as this is, we can't stay long. No fucking class. Been some new developments. Got a proposition for y'all. Come on in! <laughs> Who the fuck is he? He is our numero uno problem solver. Mm -hmm. You gonna take us up north and hook us up with some crazy... Fuck is it, fruit? A sacred fruit. The miracle of New Eve. Yeah, that's it. Our boy here says that fruit will give you strength like you can't fucking believe. And for the right price, we're willing to share it with y'all. What the fuck are you talking about? We're the strongest already. Damn straight. It's for real. I've seen it. You hear yourself? Sacred fruit? Unfucking believable. You're going soft in your head like your pops. <laughs> Any other observations? I will give you the sacred fruit only if you do as we agreed. I want you to burn New Eden to the ground. A deal's a deal, man. We're reliable. Now. We... We must do it now. Come the fuck on. Man, we gonna burn this motherfucking shit to the ground. Magic fruit that makes you powerful? Bullshit. <laughs> oh my fucking god, they left already? Shit, this is fucked up. Look, at least we can take out these other ass wipes. The gun's behind the goddamn toilet. You got the chance of a lifetime here, pal. Take a deep breath and make it count.
up. We've got reports the twins have hit New Eden. Some traitor let them in the gates. This is it, Cap. It's time to finish the twins once and for all.